All right, I want to do a little extra lesson, and that's on um, kind of two-step percentage problems um, and some some maybe pitfalls that people fall into while thinking about two-step percentage problems. <clears throat> so let me look at a couple problems here. During an 80% off clearance sale, I want to use my 20% off coupon. Should the item I purchase be free? Well, some people are going to look at this 80% off and 20% off and say, well, 80% off plus 20% off is 100% off, so I could just buy the whole store during an 80% off clearance with a 20% off discount and and pay nothing. Um, and you might actually be able to talk to talk some retail employees into being to applying the savings that way. But if you look at the way that it actually should happen is if you look at let's say you have an $82 purchase. <clears throat> and you want to take off 80%. Well, we've talked about several different ways of doing that. You can find 80% um, of 82, so we could say what number is 82% of 80. Now that's once again gonna gonna give you the savings because you're saving 82 80%. Um, you could also set it up like this. I want to know what is 80% of 82 dollars. Of course, that's once again your savings. I'm going to go ahead and switch that. The other, if you take off 80%, you're going to be left with 20%. Now my label would be, this is what I have to pay. I have to pay 20% of $82. So let me solve that real quickly. And you're going to get $16.40. What you've done is you've now set your price to be a different amount, $16.40. It was $82, but now that I'm only paying 20%, I'm paying $16.40. Now, when I take 20% off, I'm not taking 20% off of that original, because if I took 20% off of that original, that'd be that remaining $16.40 that would be disappearing. I would be taking 20% off of $16.40. So let's practice doing 20%. We can do that by doing 10% and doubling it. So if I took 10%, that'd be a dollar sixty-four. If I doubled that to go to 20%, we'd be at three dollars and twenty-eight cents. This is 20% of that number. Now be careful. Is that what we want to know? No. We would need to subtract that because that's the 20% we're saving off of that. So we would subtract three dollars and twenty-eight cents from the sixteen forty. And now I would end up with thirteen dollars and 12 cents. Once again, there are other ways to solve it. You could have set it up after the first time and said, okay, well, I could find out what 20% of $16.40 is, but 20% is not really what I want to know. I want to know the 80% that I have to pay. So you could change that to 80% pay. Now multiply and divide, you'd get that exact same answer. But notice, even though it seemed like it was 100% off, 80% plus 20%, it ends up being, we still end up paying $13.12 because that 20% is applied to the, to the, um, the 20% off is, is applied to the 80% off. So we now we have 20% off of that 20% that remained. All right, so with that in mind, let's think, let's look at another problem. I have a 10% off coupon. Uh, I want to apply the coupon to a $30 purchase. I'll be charged 10% tax. What is my final purchase price with tax? Well, a lot of people are going to look at, it, look at that and say, okay, well, I'm buying $30 item. They're going to find out 10% of that, and they're going to chop it off, but then they're going to find 10% of that and add it right back on. They took it off as a discount. They added it on as a tax, so it's going to be $30. But let's just do that, and let's show what happens is... is if you take 30%, and we're going to choose the 10% because that's a nice one to, to estimate with, and I want you to learn to estimate with 10%. So if I have this $30 and I'm going to take off 10%, once again, we've talked about different ways of finding 10%. You can say, what number is 10% of 30? You can do it as a proportion. What number is 10% of 30? Of course, we've also talked about the fact that we don't really want to know what the 10% off is. We want to know what the... 90% we have to pay is, right? So we could change that. But anyway, you're going to find out when you solve that that the three, the 10% the is $3. So we're going to take off $3, and now this is a $27 item. Once again, we've changed our total. And that's the key here is that it's no longer a $30 item. It's a $27 item. So when I get charged 10% tax, they're not finding 10% of a $30 item. They're finding 10% of a 
$27 item and adding it on. So let's see what that looks like. Well, once again, what is 10% of 27? You notice we're not going to be getting the same exact answer, aren't we? What is 10% of 27? Of course, once again, I would also say we don't really want to know what the 10% is. We want to know what the 90% is. Excuse me. That's a mistake. We're adding it on, aren't we? So we should be finding the 110% of that. So let me go. I want to go back to this 10% of it, and we're just going to find it that way because I think that would be easier to see it with. That would be $2.70. Now, what that means is <clears throat> we took off $3 with a 10% off coupon, but when we go to pay 10% tax, we pay $2.70. Well, where's that 30 cents difference? That 30 cents difference is, is we're finding 10% of two different numbers, 30 and 27. So, of course, there's going to be a difference when I find 10% of this, 3, 10% of this, $2.70. So be careful because those are some areas that people struggle with. So our final answer was $27 plus the two seventy dollars would be $29.70. But do you see why people think, oh, it's going to be $30. I subtract 10%. I add 10%, I'm right back where I started, but it's not exactly true because we've changed the of, we've changed the whole, we're comparing to a different thing, so when I find 10% of it, it's a different size piece.